All right, hey guys, just another quick little video here, real short of what I, another thing I did. Took an old clothes dryer somebody was getting rid of and made a, a shop fan with it. Uh, this thing came out of a, uh, probably a mid, late 70s Maytag clothes dryer, electric, uh, that the elements went out and one of the uh, tub bearings had went bad. The thing was junk, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to recycle this. I'm going to use the motor. Motor still ran and everything, so this is just the, uh, the blower assembly from the dryer. Uh, of course, there it is. I'm going to try to make a cover for this, you know, a filter or something, because that's your squirrel cage blower there. Uh, I took all the elect other, other electrical things. It looks like they'd had a fire in this thing at one point, too. Uh, that would have been one of, where one of the other heat sensors would have been for, like, uh, it would have either been an overload or it would have been for one of them since I dry settings. When the clothes are dry, the air gets hotter and it kicks it off when the clothes are dry. Either way, that looked like that. That was out of there when I took the dryer apart. Somebody had the wires bypassed. Guys, an electric clothes dryer never, ever bypassed any of these safety features. This is a thermal fuse. It's still there. I don't need that because I don't have it elements. But anything electrical like that that's got heat sensors and overload switches, don't bypass them. If they're bad, replace them because that's a fire hazard if you do that. But nonetheless, this is no longer a clothes dryer now. It's a bench fan. So still has the Maytag can't really see it there on the camera but yeah the old Maytag the blower runs now a lot of people will think these motors are 240 volts because the dryer cord was 240 volts but they're not they run on 110 110 117 some people will say 110 117 volts so yeah I left the shaft on there the little pulley on there for the uh, tub that would turn your tub so now we got a little fan so uh, yeah I wired it to a cord uh, I always like to use a ground wire too. You would just ground your green wire to the casing of the motor, the housing, the metal, just as, as a precaution. Now this cord I got in here is not really heavy enough, but it's just, just to do a little demonstration. And uh, now I have to kind of hold this thing. Well, it's probably going to kick a little bit. I'm doing this one-handed. When this thing starts, it's got to kick, but buddy, it works. Makes a nice little shop uh, fan. Here we go. There it goes. This fan puts off a lot of air. I'm going to unplug it now. There you have it, guys. Just something you can do with an old dryer if you got one. As long as the motor's still good, you can unbolt the assembly and you got yourself a, a bench fan. So, and there's a lot of people that's got uh, videos on these on how to wire them. Um, you know, I'm not really going to get into that. It's real simple. I mean, they're just two wires, you know, and then you got your ground, like I said, on the motor housing, either on here or directly on the motor. Sometimes there's like this one here has a wire that's grounded, but it's still going to the same place. So, well, there you have it, guys. An easy way to make a nice shop bench fan or uh, put it on your floor. If you've mopped floors in a house or a shop or something, you want to dry the floor real quick. This will definitely do it. Thanks for watching, guys.